Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yay! <laughs> um, whew, today we are going to be talking about blood and water. Like, I waited a whole year. Was it up to a year? Anyways, I waited a year plus or a year for Blood and Water 2 Season 2 to come out. But before we go into the gist of today, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment at the comment section at the end of the video. And also, if you're new here, please subscribe. Please. Thank you. And if you are returning, oh, thank you so much for always returning, for always coming back. Now, let's get started into Blood and Water 2. Okay, so, um, Blood and Water Season 2 was quite an interesting one, but I have so many, I have so many things to say. Please, if you haven't watched it, um, and you know you are this kind of person that is into don't spoil my movie blah 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 blah, blah. um you know out of respect please don't watch this video <laughs> out of respect for your you know not wanting to spoil what you want please do not watch this video yeah my glass case i had to choose the right glasses to wear let's move that aside anyways let's get into it but the first thing i want to just say is what's wrong with pulang Pulang gave me anxiety. Wow. Like from the first episode of season two. This girl was already making me anxious, like on her behalf. Because, whoa. What was the meaning of that? Like, she could not be discreet about anything. You're snooping into someone's house and you cannot be discreet about it. Like, she has to be named the worst snoop ever. The worst snoop to ever exist is Pulang. Like, what the hell was wrong? Like, I love Pulang, and I don't know why I actually like her. I feel like I love her character in the movie, but Pulang is an annoying character. Like, no jokes. Pulang is very triggering. Like, she just triggers a lot of things. Like, did you see the way she was talking to her mom and her dad at, um, in the first episode, during the first period, she used to talk to her dad and everything. The way she was just, you know, you know, if you was in my home, you talk to your mother like that, or you talk to your father like that, you're gonna receive a sounding <laughs> like a serious sounding slap. You're gonna receive your left, right, center, front, back, side. Anyways, you want. <laughs> okay, enough about Pulang. Um, let's talk about Chris's character. I like the fact that when it came to Chris and Reese, um, the two supporting characters there. Or among the supporting characters, they, they gave us insights this time around. They gave us like a background. So for Chris, I think due to what they have shown us that they have made us to understand how, why Chris is the way Chris is. So it's quite understandable to an extent, like he's messed up because of, you know, I feel like his parents kind of neglected him in a way. I mean, money is there, but like, and he gets into trouble a lot, but I think he gets into trouble because he knows that. At the end of the day, he'll still come out of it. I mean, he did say that to Principal Daniels. Sorry, to one of his friends when they were talking about Principal Daniels and everything. So that was quite understandable. Um, and I think because of the way his parents were just, you know, neglecting him and everything, it kind of made him supportive. If you notice, Chris is very supportive towards his friends. He's very protective to fix. Very, very protective to fix. Even Reese, when Reese started misbehaving, you know, he was going to take it all in for you know race and everything which is quite good like wow having a friend like that must be really nice must be really really nice and i want to say something again what does it look like is going on or is going to go on between race sorry between chris and what's her name again we shall come back to that anyways now next on the line let's talk about wade wade you know, I never actually saw Pulang fall for Wade. I don't know. Is Pulang selfish or something? I really do not know. Because he had to be someone telling her something about Wade for, for her to actually realize or for her to actually retrace her steps back and probably go back to Wade, which I really do not understand because I did not see Pulang ending up with Wade. Wade has had his eyes on her from the beginning. He has had his eyes on her. But Pulang was like, I'm going to go to the hot guy because, you know... <laughs> KB is hot. KB is fresh. I like it. 
the singer but wait is a genius as well what i guess they said good girls she's not a good girl but let's just use that good girls tend to like bad boys i don't know how true that statement is though but oh well that's what the world says <laughs> so i also want to talk about the fight like you know the the scene that shocked me the most was the fight between wade and um, kb i did not see wade beating kb at all like what was that oh my god mm. like he literally gave kb a red eye like wow well, it was quite interesting to see like i did not expect i mean they did show us that wade was going through training and everything but i really did not see it that serious especially when it came to kb i expected kb to be the person beating wade up but um well, it was direct opposite of everything and let's talk about how their budgets this year i think their hair budgets kind of you know improved this year i mean i saw fresh braids fresh twists <laughs> fresh fresh hairs are going up and down which was quite interesting to see at the same time this season was messed up when it came to their parents there were a lot of entanglements talking about the entanglement can we talk about what happened at the end between um poleng and between poleng chris sorry poleng wade and kb what in the world of entanglements was that like that is a scene that i want to really really look into like i want to see what's up and what's going on because <laughs> sister in this season you want to be doing entanglement why i mean i wouldn't blame her but i feel like if she had had like i feel like she still had feelings for kb and the feelings she has for wade is kind of uh, tricky in a way but if she's smart she should stay away from kb i mean i'm still simple and kb anyways and i still like wade anyways anyone she wants to do you know i'm that friend that will support you whenever you want to do it i'll support you but when you when you cry i'll, I'll tell you sorry but i'll shut there you i told you oh my that's not true but <laughs> well yes we could also see um that fix is also not poleng's full sister Fix is a half sister of Poleng. That means that Poleng's mom had an affair. Wow, interesting. So now the question is, who is Fix dad? Like, I'm so curious to know because I feel like this is a circle that will not end. I feel like the circle is just going to just is going to be going around. I really want to know who Fix dad is. Talking about Fix dad, also, um, what's her name? Print, uh, no, no, no. Um, this new guy, Sam's mom, Janet. Yes, I want to know who is the father of Janet's child, first of all. Because if you look at the scene where KB's dad was like, Oh, you're pregnant, and you know, the way she replied him kind of felt, you know, kind of somehow, you know, I mean, I won't be shocked if, um, if KB's dad is actually Janet's baby daddy, eh, I would not be shocked, but, anyways, um. I want to really know and sam sam came in as this bright character that was supposed to look like the sunshine and everything with his smile and everything coming in to come and still fix heart and they did fix sam did not even get one kiss interesting <laughs> but 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 fix seemed to like sam and i think sam also liked um fix as well actually when he got to know that his mom was involved in the whole kidnapping thing you know Wow, like that was a great addition, which I'm looking forward to if they have season three of Blood and Water. I'm looking forward to Sam's character more. I pray or I hope they do show him more in the series. Um, you know, I have a lot of things to say about Fix because, you know, season one, Fix was all sassy, bitchy. You know, she was that, she was that babe, you know, and then season two, she's calm. You know she's like she's innocent she doesn't know what's going on she's just i like the way she handled things this season though how calm she was i think she's a slow thinker not thinker per se but more like she she takes in things slowly like she processes things slowly because even down to every single thing you could tell she was taking her time trying to find out things more process things more but this this season really did not match her bitchy attitude from one her sassy attitude from one 
I really did not share it a lot. But I really, I really, really do love Fix. Fix and Plank are, they are beautiful. Like they're so, they're so cute. They're so, so cute together. Oh yes, that's true. Do you see their hair? Like I like the fact, the way they brought out the cultural things, you know. Um, the hairstyles, I would not lie. I was really interested in the hairstyles. If you know, you know I'm a hairstylist. I was really, really interested in their hairstyles. But like when it came to like fix best friend, the hairstyle was I like I, I was always looking forward to her hairstyle. She was always changing. She showed us that she was that girl that you know you don't like to stay in one place. <laughs> but yeah, I like the fact she was always changing her hairstyle. And what's the name of this girl again that um um Wade, Wade's girlfriend's best friend, what was her name? Wendy. Wendy's hairstyle too was always it was on point as well it was it was actually quite interesting to look at her hairstyles like i i felt like hmm okay i would want to try this on a client i would want to try this on myself but you see her hairstyle was also not bad as well and the cultural when it was the last episode the way they portrayed african culture in a way the music they used uh you know i feel like they really brought they brought they brought it home they did bring it home, to be honest. I mean, a lot of you might have your reservations about Blood and Water and what you think about not their acting or whatever. I mean, um, I really do not know quite a number about people's acting, so I'm not going to judge their acting at all. I, I feel they did okay. But someone else that's into acting more would say or might say otherwise. But I did not have a problem with the way they acted at all. It was quite okay to look at. So um way and uh, wendy and wendy and chris let's come back there what is going on what is happening i i i really want to i want on a serious note i want to understand because it looks like wendy is falling for the boy and it looks like chris is also falling for the girl and i think the moment the falling started i think was from the auction the auction the auction auction right yeah i think that's when he actually started you know he started really looking at her or started noticing her but i don't know i i see something there and i don't know that's a good idea i don't know but i do see something there and wendy needs to be calming down sometimes she needs to is it faraba that they call it <laughs> she needs to be calming down she needs to calm down wendy needs to calm down a lot so who else are we talking about? Mm, I like KB's dad's relationship with his son. Like, I, I feel like they have a good relationship to an extent, especially because you know he was he was interested in his son's affair and <laughs> relationship, and he was also interested in his son's life, like the studies, if he wanted to do music or all that. But I like the fact that you know they bring in that father to son, like you know, in Africa. Oh, I think in most parts in Africa, it's very rare for you to see the father and the son being so close at that young age. It's usually back to back, from back to bump back, back to back, from back to bump back, even females too, and their mothers. But, you know, in this case, it's calm. Like, he's able to speak to his dad. His dad is able to speak to him. It doesn't look like they really hide things from themselves. Though, Kebi's dad is messy. He is messed up. I repeat, Kebi's dad is messed up his parents both his parents are messed up because they did show us the end of you know towards the end about the sketch from Pelenga. we get to understand that his mom was also involved in the kidnapping of fix wow wow you know this is my first time of doing a movie review <laughs> and it's just because i was really i took my time i was really excited to watch blood and water i really wanted to watch it i really had a lot of things to say about it and then i'm in front of the camera now and i'm like i can't remember a lot of things i really wanted to say but yes i think we've come towards the end of this video oh wait before we go to the end of the video please can we talk about how Pulang looks like she's in trouble from season if they have season three Pulang looks like she's in hot soup yes because for the mom to have asked who tell me about Poleng? Hey God. I mean, it's going to be very interesting if Poleng and KB are now in a relationship, if they go back to being in a relationship, and then 
um kb's mom comes back though i don't think she will come back oh, but there's a possibility she might come back she might still be working undercover because apparently she had people working for her from the beginning wow like the guy that um came into miss janet's house to you know to take whatever he wanted to take and you know laid the stuff on her and then they had to go on witness protection but anyways, I still love blood and water. So we've come to the end of our video. My first movie review on blood and water. <laughs> so we've come to the end. Please don't forget to write in the comment section whatever you think I forgot to add or whatever you think I said wrongly that, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be corrected on if you watched blood and water. I would really, 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 really love to see your comments about blood and water. To be honest, I want to see your comments on blood and water. So please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and leave a comment on the comment section. Share to your friends that your friends should share to their friends and their friends, friends, friends and their friends, 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 friends. The DJ is here. <laughs> Okay, jokes are fine right now. Bye, guys.